Youngin' from the east side, I'm the man now Yeah, never ask for nothing If I want it, fuck your hand out Shorty wanna chill, but I got plans now Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Plaxy here, repping that PLC And I'm with Ty Water Waves Yo, yeah, what's up, man? What's going on? <laughs> hey, sir, I hey, appreciate you coming out Appreciate you having me, man, for real Yeah, no doubt See, so, yeah, we'll just get right into it You know, who are you? My name, Craig, for those who know me But I go by Plaxy Placid Lake Capricorn, Placid the Goat, coming out of Chesapeake, Virginia, 757. So, okay. Dope, dope. See, so, yeah, you know, we'll get right into it, uh, start off. Um, you know, I know you get the album coming up. You know, you want to tell the viewers about that? Uh, yeah, definitely. The album, uh, I've been working on it for about two years, for real. It's called Eastside. It's just basically the story about me uh, growing up, you know, my environment. You can hear it through the music. You can see what I've been through. You can see what I'm trying to get to. And basically, it's just a story of the come up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so why music? Uh, I'm good at music. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm bad at sports. That's what everybody think I do, just off my bill. But I'm good at music, and I'm good at computers and video games. Okay. And those two. I mean, they're cool now, but <laughs> back yeah. then, music won't cool. And that was just like the way I expressed myself, for real. Like, I'm a very bland and controlled person. So you mm -hmm. can't really tell what's going on, but you can hear it when I put it into the music. So yeah, put it into the music. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you do got like a very distinct flow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why I came up with that name, uh, Placid. Um, I was talking to one of my homies, and he was like, I was going by uh, Kiddo, and mm -hmm. then I was going by Swave, and that was when I was like back in, in high school, and I was talking to my homie from LA. His name Corrigamus. He was like, uh, Yo, man, what your name mean? And I was like. It's just a word we say out here, and he's like, does it describe you? And I was like, I mean, not really. It's not really a description. You know, it's just something cool. Mm -hmm. But he was like, you need to find something that speaks volumes, you know, speak about yourself from just the name alone. So I went through the dictionary, and I saw Placid, originally spelled P-L-A-C-I-D. And it means, like, not easily bothered, you know, very calm state. That's me 24-7. So I just wow. flipped the way it was spelled, and that's why. That's why I came up with that name. <laughs> okay. Yeah, how long ago was that? Uh, that was in like 2013, 2014, like right when I graduated. That's when I really started taking music seriously. Um, I was rapping all the time, me and my friends and our group, uh, Dope Kids. But I started going solo and like going serious right after graduation because I just had a studio in my house, record songs all day, you know, find beats on YouTube, and we just went to music. So that's mm -hmm. when I did the name change and everything, started going the serious route. Okay. You didn't want to stay as a group? No, nah, we did. Um, we were still rapping together, but eventually everybody broke off, you know, growing up, you know, getting jobs, doing different things, finding out different talents. Yeah. Um, I'm still cool with everybody. They still make music too, especially Luke. Y'all see we got songs together. Um, my other homie that was in the group, he actually moved from Virginia, but I still talk to him and he actually about to get on the music scene as well, so. Okay, yeah, shout out to Luke. He yeah. was in the group? <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Okay. Luke was in Dope Kids. Right, that's what's up. <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, so I know you kind of touched on it, but, you know, like, you know, why music? Like, how'd you get into it? What was that, like, first introduction for you? Um, my mom, I used to write poems for her, and she uh, she kept them. So I, I, she would show them to me, and I was like, dang, this was actually good. <laughs> so I started picking back up on it, and plus my dad a DJ, so he played a lot of music. Uh, he always got me at parties, like, for younger kids, asking me to spin. Um, so I got into it that way, but I was like, I don't really want to. You know, DJ, I don't really want to play the music. I want them to hear the music that I make. So I just kind of picked back up on it, got a little older, got a little wiser. <laughs> so I started writing better uh, topics, you know, better content, and mm -hmm. it just kind of stuck with it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I see you uh, dabbling in producing as well. Yeah, that's uh, that's not me. <laughs> that's, that's the that's the homie Roy. No, nah, that's that's just my alter ego. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, yeah, so my homie uh, T Minor, Tracy, I always used to ask him to teach me how to produce. And he always get mad. He'd be like, bro, I can't show you how to produce. And I was like, what, bro? Just show me how to find the sounds. I'll make something. He's like, bro, it ain't that simple. Like, you got to feel it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got to really know what you want it to sound like and contemplate it and, you know what I'm saying, making it to reality. So I purchased a little beat machine. And I try to make myself three beats a night. And I just start getting crazy with it. So I started mm -hmm. taking it. I started taking that side seriously once, you know, I started picking up on it and then becoming a little bit better at it. So mm -hmm. I don't know where that came out. It was just kind of a spark. Just wanted to get interested in that, especially when I be trying to find beats and you can't find a beat that really speaks to you. So you're mm -hmm. like, dang, I can just make it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. So I got into it that way too. So definitely shout out to T Minor for the for the 
the thoughts. <laughs> yeah, dope, dope. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, you know, you think your background in DJing kind of helped you find your way around, you know, uh, you know, the introduction to making beats and producing. Yeah, definitely. Uh, he played a lot of different vibes. You know, I, one day he asked me to go get back that ass up on a CD because I burnt the CD for him. Mm -hmm. Then the next day he'd be like, yeah, I got to do a church event. <laughs> Let me get straight gospel. I'm like, all right. So I definitely had an ear for different music. Yeah. Um, and I hear that and that definitely, you know, pull on the strings a little bit and get the gears moving in my brain and start making some more sounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, aside from the music, you know, the business side, I see you, um, you know, very you know, like versed in branding. Mm -hmm. um, of course, with you being an artist, picking the name, I see your clothing brand on right now. Yeah, PLC. Uh, this is Collection 3. Um, I just like art. I really mm -hmm. like art, like music, videography, photography, clothing, all of it. So I'm just dabbling in whatever I can. I used to have a camera. I used to shoot the dope kids videos with the little, <laughs> the little uh, pocket cameras. Mm -hmm. So I do that too. Then I draw, but I can't really draw. But if I can see it, you know what I'm saying? I'll reach out to somebody that I know can draw my nephew. He's one of the people that helped me a lot with the artwork. Um, so we, I mean, I just throw my mind into it and I'll be like, let's try it. So I did that with PLC. It stuck. Uh, first, The first brand was really just to kind of reintroduce myself mm -hmm. um, after the name change and everything. Uh, that's how I came up with the PLC name. It, it originally stood for the full name, Placid Lake Capricorn, but I just shortened it to what I represent the most, the peace, mm -hmm. the love, and the creativity of the art, you know what I'm saying, so. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. So yeah, what inspired that like business side of you? You know, wanting to take things serious, start to really brand and branch out like that? Uh, my dad again, he always tried to make me, make sure I had a backup plan for something, because Anybody asked, or you know, if I ever had got asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, it'll be a rapper, <laughs> and they'd be like, "All right, but what if you what if you can't be a rapper?" I'm like, mm -hmm. "I don't really know." <laughs> so he was like, "You need to have a backup plan. You need to be able to fall back on something." So I just started learning about different markets, mm -hmm. um, but my real backup plan was like computer science. But that shit take a lot of math, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so I just yeah. went rocking with it like Tom about it. So I, I just started doing different ventures and stuff like that, and reaching out to people who I know. You know, dibbling that. Plus, my dad got a lot of business friends, too. Mm -hmm. He read over contracts and stuff like that. He got contracts and stuff like that. So he taught me on the side about making sure you read the paperwork percentages and all that. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> OK, and is that something that, you know, um, you know, that expertise you're putting into the album? Or are you just calling that an album? Or are you really taking it serious in nah. terms of the rollout and all of that? Yeah, this is definitely the first uh, first major body of work that I'm going to be releasing. Um, usually when I drop stuff, it'll just be songs I made no real glue to the to the like you know to the project it'll just be songs mm -hmm. this is like an actual project it's a story so it's gonna be like all cohesive all sounds are the same you know what i'm saying so everybody be able to just ride and just listen to it all the way through not want to skip nothing not want to you know be mm -hmm. de deterred by what's coming on um so yeah this the definitely definitely the first big body of work that i'm putting out and that's why it's taking so long like i said i've been working on it for two years so i'm trying to make sure i get everything right mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, what is the feel of the album? You know, um, I know you said it was like a story behind it. You know, it's right. very important. It's your first body of work. So like, what can you tell the viewers about, you know, just inspirations and just talk more about the album? Right, definitely. So yeah, uh, being that it's the first album, I just want people like, a lot of people know me uh, just off of what I make, but I'm very versatile. So I make a lot of different music. Um, so it's hard to tell what I'm feeling at the moment unless you hear the song, like, you know what I'm saying? So this one is just going to be exactly as I said, the come up story of me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, how I got into music, uh, different mistakes I made in music, you know what I'm saying? Different things I've learned while pursuing music. Um, you know, my homies that helped me in music, Luke, uh, Kay, John, all of them, you know, Tracy. Uh, and it's just about, it's just about my surroundings and what I'm going through and how I learned from that and manipulated it into making it great, you know what I'm saying? Making it to a, a nice body of work. Mm. Um, and it's gonna be something a lot of people can feel. I definitely think that. <laughs> Word, okay. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, let's talk about the prelude as well that you just dropped. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, been sitting on that for a minute. Um, me and Tracy, I went to his house um, like back to back. As soon as I got off of work, uh, if I was off and he was off, slide to his crib. He was making beats on the spot. And for some reason I had this big writer's block. Like I won't feel nothing. I couldn't write nothing, so I just locked myself there, like I isolated myself in his crib, and I just come up with the songs on the spot while he was making a beat, and then I just kind of went in, knocked mm -hmm. out like nine, ten songs, 
And I was like, oh, this is going to be good for the album because I needed more songs for the album at the time. But as I started progressing and working on the album a little bit more, I was like, nah, this ain't going to match the feel. So I was like, I'm going to just give them this, you know what I'm saying, as something to hold off until the actual album come off. So I just waited until the time was right. And now that I'm finally getting close to being wrapped up with the full album, I just dropped it. It was like, here I go. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I always try to drop something on my birthday. So, mm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Definitely. See, how do um the prelude and the album? How do they differ? Uh, the prelude is more of the hype side. Um, that was just all the songs that are hard hitters, all the songs that everybody can feel, all the songs that's me on my cocky shit. Um, and then the album is just more. It's not intellectual, but it it got a meaning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's something that you got to really break down and understand. So you know that's the different, the major difference between them. Just that that turn up feel or that, that cocky feel that puts you like I'm on my shit mm -hmm. to that damn, I feel that. You know, that's yeah. the album. That's the reaction yeah. I want to come from the album. Like, yeah, let me kind of slow it down yeah. give y'all something to yeah. really take in. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So, so yeah, where'd the title come from? Uh, the East Side or for the prelude? Oh, both. Okay, so the prelude um, on the intro, I was just playing around in the studio singing and I was like, we almost did the East Side. And East Side, a lot of people think I'm talking about like a destination, but it's not really a destination. That's just the name of the album. So I'm like, almost did the East Side. Like we almost did to the album being complete to my full like mm -hmm. body of work. Um, East Side just came from uh, talking to all my friends and stuff like that. People always ask what you rep. And I'm like, yeah, I rep with 757. You know, I'm from Virginia. But a lot of people, when you say Virginia, they don't necessarily think the 757. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They'll go anywhere. They'll be like, what part? You in Alexandria? You yeah. in Richmond? You in Williamsburg? I'm like, nah, I'm in Chesapeake. <laughs> and they'll be like, where that's at? I'm yeah, like, all right. right. So I just grouped it all together. Like, just because I'm from one part, I mean, I can't rep the thing to the fullest. So mm -hmm. I'm just on the east side of the map. I'm in Virginia, right there in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Right, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to say respect, you know, to you, um, you know, for claiming Chesapeake. Yeah. You know, a <laughs> lot of people don't, you know, yeah. they move to Virginia Beach or, Norfolk, you know, something more popular, so. Definitely, yeah. yeah definitely. I always you know. tell people I'm from Chesapeake, and then when they be like, where Chesapeake at? I'm like, so no, South Norfolk, y'all know what that mm. is? And they be like, oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, speaking on your location, like, how is this area in uh, Chesapeake, you know, affected you musically? Uh, It's just a lot of talent out here, man. A lot of people I met, you know, especially going to school um, at Norfolk State, is a lot of people who got different talents, whether it's producing, whether it's engineering, mixing, mastering, or just the artists themselves or all around, you know what I'm saying? It's just a lot of talent out here. So being in, surrounded by so much talent, you definitely got to learn to network and just find people who, who mm -hmm. want to network with you. Um, so being around that just really made me want to work even harder so we can all get somewhere. So mm -hmm. that's, that's the whole point of East Side, you know what I'm saying? Everybody come together and just show it ain't just one spot that's hot right now. Like the whole country or the whole city hot. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. So you graduated from NSU? Nah, I ain't graduated yet. I had to take a semester off to start my new job. Okay. Training was like three months mm -hmm. and I couldn't do that because I was already enrolled in classes. So mm -hmm. I just stopped for a second and uh, picked up this job, but I'm about to re-enroll and go back, finish up this last semester. Okay, yeah, finish it up, man. Yeah. yeah. Congrats, though. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, what'd you major in? Or uh, what are you major Computer science. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. That was uh, that was my dad again. <laughs> he was like, uh, I was about to go to ITT Tech before they got shut down, mm -hmm. uh, for whatever they got shut down for. I literally got accepted right when they got shut down. And then as soon as they shut down, I got accepted in the NSU. I was like, wow. Yeah, <laughs> that that was meant to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I was just like, cool, we're going to roll with this. And I went into it. It was actually a good experience. I did not want to go back to school after high school. I was like, bro, why would I go back to school when I just finished school? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's everybody's thoughts, but it was actually a great choice. Um, I met a lot of people there. Like I said, there's a lot of people that got talent out there on campus. Mm -hmm. And uh, we help each other a lot, still communicate. They're waiting for me to come back. I'm like, I can't wait to come back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. You yeah. plan on using your major, like, if at all, like, you know, even for science stuff, you know, because there's a lot going on in tech, you know, realm right now. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I ain't really got a lot to speak on with this, but I actually got a homie that I used to work with. He's like a major, like, computer, like, I ain't gonna say geek, but he a master, like he a wizard. Mm -hmm. uh, and me and him working on something for the album release. It's supposed to be like a video game. <laughs> so it's like coding and stuff. That's why I went to school with. So me and him working on that, but we it's not a definite yet because the budgeting, it, it take a lot apparently to make a video game, especially mm -hmm. the way I want it. 
But yeah, we working on something like that. So I'm using that that side of my skill set to dibble in something else, like I mentioned. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, smooth. Yeah. So um, you know, at NSU and just in general, uh, did you ever perform? Uh, I never performed for NSU, but I did get a lot of shows down at Shaka's through NSU, um, just meeting people or like on Twitter. Um, but I never performed actually at NSU. I always performed at Shaka's or before they closed down, I was at Strange Matter mm -hmm. and uh, Richmond. Um, but yeah, never at NSU officially, nah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, how, how do you like performing? I love it. It's mm -hmm. like one of the best feelings. Like, okay, you make the music, the song, you get reactions, great to the song, but seeing the crowd react to the song is just a whole different feeling. Yeah. Like, it's just different. I just love that. Or getting to act it out. Like, yeah. just experience it. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So, yeah, you plan on doing, like, you know, any more performances any soon? Or how do you go about, uh, like, you know, picking and choosing that? Uh, yeah. You know, I'm waiting for some more slots to open up. I think management changed their shocker, so it ain't mm -hmm. really been too much hip-hop acts there. Um, but I do know there's another scene coming up. You know what I'm saying? We got... Uh, Black Hearts Clubs, they be doing the, the events. They be having different venues. My man Scholarship always be having some dope events. So I'm definitely trying to get some more performances out there once I release this album. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely trying to do some different shows in different areas as well, um, mm. you know, outside of the city yeah. um, or outside of the state even. So I'm definitely trying to, to work on that mm. a little bit more. Yeah, and shout out to everybody, you know, putting on them events, you know, giving the artists and people opportunity. Definitely, yeah. yeah. I'm working on that too. I'm trying to dibble in that scene as well and work on some sort of events for the city, you know what I'm mm. saying? Come together and have okay. multiple talents come out and work on some stuff that way. So hosting, just straight hosting, or would you perform as well? I would perform as well. <laughs> I definitely yeah. gotta, get a, gotta get a song or two in, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. But yeah, I wanna be behind the scenes and I wanna be there, you know, physically enjoying it as well. Mm. So, a little right, bit of okay. both. Do you have like a space or a place um that you, know, you feel that um like like in Atlanta, New York, you know, somewhere that you feel you could thrive musically at your best? Um, not necessarily. I don't really I mean, I know everybody either come up in New York or Cali. Uh that's what the thought is. Or Atlanta now. Atlanta really on top right now. Mm -hmm. But I can't really say if if I move there or if, if I if I proceed to go there, if it'll change anything or you know, if it if I if I come out better. Um, everything is so digital now, so mm -hmm. I really don't have to physically be anywhere for somebody to pick up on it or realize what the talent lays and try to get me out there. Um, but who knows, you know? Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So you got any like musical inspirations? Um, yeah, definitely Kanye West. Despite of <laughs> people yeah, feeling like, towards you know. him now, uh, Kanye still on the top of the list. Kendrick, of course, and uh, is actually I listen to a lot of underground rap, so. People mm -hmm. may not have heard of them, or people, you know what I'm saying, may not know them uh, a lot. But some people that I met that I actually spoke to and had conversations with, like I mentioned, my boy Corrigamus and Cali, uh, Cali Anderson here in Florida. Sir John Lee, let me tell y'all about him. He mm -hmm. produced half the songs on the East Side Project. Like, I don't know, like, y'all gotta find him, bro. Like, he's he's GOAT status. Right, I say okay. he's the next Kanye, but bro, right. I'm boasting him up too much. But From out here? Nah, he from Cali. He's Cali, Cali, yeah. Cali, yeah. yeah. His name is Sir John Lee. He okay. definitely a, a, a big influence on me. I actually did a song with him on his album. And uh, my boy, John Michael, he from New York, Queens. He he dope too. Okay. So I'm actually trying to get him on the album as well. He got to send that verse. <laughs> dope. That's what's up. Yeah. So yeah, speaking of that, you know, you kind of beat me to my next point. You know, features. Like, how do you go about, you know, getting features or people hitting you up? Uh, For features, man, it's really just if I if I rock with your vibe or the, or the message you're putting out, and I feel like we can vibe together, I definitely reach out to you. Um, a lot of people know that I landed a feature with No Name mm -hmm. um, back in 2016, I think. It was 2016 or 2017. Nope. Um, she was on, supposed to be my first album, but it, uh, it wasn't really an album. I wouldn't call it an album. That was, again, just a, bro a project that I put out. But And a lot of people ask, how did I land that? And it's really, like I said before, networking. You really got to reach out and tell people what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And if they rock with it, they're going to rock with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it was. Um, and then as far as features for the album, um, I don't really got too many, to be honest. Um, but that's because it's my first full body of work. So mm -hmm. I don't want it to be shadowed yeah. or covered over by a lot of features. It, yeah. I want it to be mainly me so you can understand me. Yeah. Um, but I do got a few up there or a few that I'm hoping for as well. Um, so we definitely working on that. Okay. Smooth. So how many projects have you put out, you know, to this date? Uh, total. 
Let me see. I got asked this the last time too, and I skipped some apparently. <laughs> but too it's, many um, to name. Yeah, it's PLC the new drug. That was supposed to be my no, actually, it's insomnia made dreams real. That was the first full body I, uh, work I put out, and it sucked. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can't find it unless you know me personally, because mm -hmm. I don't got the link anywhere. Um, PLC the new drug, Nissan Altima, Spare Time, uh, almost there to the East Side, and there was another one I dropped too. Oh, Abstract Visions. So I was at like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. And then there's just a lot of singles that I put out as well. And I also did a challenge for myself. I aspire y'all to do this because it's really helped the creative process. Um, but I made myself release a new song every month for a whole year. It was hard, but <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I considered that a project as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's dope. Have you, um, you may have already done this. I think I saw it in your SoundCloud. That's what it was with the same cover art. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, would you put all of those songs like together and then re-release it as a project? Definitely. Uh -huh. um, it was a lot of freestyles up there. So it was like beats that, that weren't custom or it was like beats people already heard. Mm. Now, actually, I think I only did one freestyle and that was uh, the bank account freestyle. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely re-released it and put it out as, a, as an official project because I was proud of myself for that. That was real hard to actually find a topic and write every month. I mean, I write a lot, but it's like some that you actually want to release. You know, sometimes you'll write, jot some stuff down, it'll be an idea, you come back to it, finish it up. Mm -hmm. Or you're like, nah, that ain't hard, come back to it, finish it up. But it was like, actually, nah, I got to put this out now. It's the first of the month. So, yeah. so like, yeah, I definitely re-release that. All right, okay, and it keeps you on track. Yeah, just, definitely. Like yeah. I said, with uh, the prelude to the album, I had that writer's block for some reason. I couldn't, I couldn't come out with nothing good that I felt was good. And if I don't feel it's good, I definitely know it's not gonna be good enough to give out to the pop, to public, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So it definitely keep the juices flowing and just keep you on your game. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, how do you feel about the uh, Virginia music scene now? Uh, the Virginia music scene, I feel like we finally on our way back up. Um, mm. And I don't mean we ever fell off, but it's just kind of we dimmed down a little bit. We was overshadowed by other cities and other scenes. Um, but now that, you know what I'm saying, we realize the talent that we still got here, as I mentioned, a lot of people starting to work together to make sure we get out there and let them know we still here. So yeah. we definitely on our way back up. Or right. it's the resurgence. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See, what's the best thing about the music industry doing music to you? Uh, just the, the ability to, you know, present yourself in a creative manner, uh, get all your feelings out there, people, and, and know people feel the exact same way or that you touched the topic somebody was thinking about mm -hmm. and it helped them out or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's just the best part to me that you can communicate with people without even knowing them just through the word of mouth or the vibe mm -hmm. that you was putting off on a song or an album or yeah. anything. You know what I'm saying? That's right. dope to me. Okay. So yeah, how do you measure success? You know, like how far are you trying to take this? Uh, success in my eyes is just getting a loyal fan base that I know depend on me or I depend on them vice versa. Um, they waiting for me to drop something new and I'm waiting to give it to them. That's, that's success to me, just having people just wanting more because I'm always going to want to give more, but it's the fact that people want it and if they're going to accept it, that's definitely success for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and speaking in that realm, like, you know, I also want to ask you about your future goals, just in general, you know, just like what you, you know, what's your vision for like the next 10 years? Uh, next 10 years, well, this year, officially, I definitely want to get that album out and just get, get enough promotion and just keep it pushing, you know what I'm saying? Get it up there, get people to see it and listen to it. And then after that, definitely want to start doing some touring, um, some festivals, host something in the city here, get another collection, get the clothes pushing a little bit more and just basically just get the name out there, get people to know who I am outside of Virginia or outside of the city, you know what I'm saying? 2019? Yeah, 2019, okay. definitely. But I can't say that because the way I'm thinking about releasing the album, it's going to be like half of 2019 going already. <laughs> so I might have to push that till 2020, but it'll definitely be within the beginning of 2020. Okay. Yeah. Or how about like, you know, 2030? 2030? Yeah. Where you see yourself like... I can't really say. Um, I'll still be doing music, but that's music, how the, okay. it's, it's definitely how I get, re, how the reaction is to what mm -hmm. I'm putting out to this full project. If it pick up enough, I get the steam rolling, I'm going to keep it rolling and we'll see where that take me. And if I don't get the steam rolling, I'm going to make sure I make something that does keep the steam rolling. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So 2030, I'm hoping that I'm just out here and I actually got a name for myself um, and I can, I can validate it through my work that I'm putting out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you think this experience, this interview uh, platform, was beneficial to you thus far? Definitely. Yeah, I've been ro I've been rocking with y'all ever since I said my brother came up here, Luke. 
Um, I was like, dang, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? They got people out here really talking about what they got going on. They really showcasing the talent that we have out here. So that's why I initially wanted to hit y'all up in that 75 seconds. I always like freestyling, even though my freestyles ain't where I want them to be. But just like, that's right there. That's a, that, that alone is dope to me. Just, you know, giving people a chance to really come out here and showcase what they got. Because like I said, there's a lot of talent out here in Virginia. It's just getting it out there is what we got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate you coming out, man, for sure. Again, I appreciate y'all having me, man. Yeah, Again. we definitely going to be checking out the album and, you know, hope to do some more collaborative stuff in the future. Definitely appreciate it. Like I said, man, we're trying to get these festivals and stuff going, so I definitely think it'll be a dope platform, especially with what y'all already got going on, to have it, you know, come out here and have people showcase what they got. Mm. Definitely. Where, so where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter. Oh, actually, you can just go to my website. I do got a website now. Um, it'll take you everywhere. So if you just go to www.plvxid.com, that's my name. Um, you'll just get all my social links, all my music, videos, clothes, all of it will be on the website. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's Plaxic. You know, can't wait to hear the album, East Side. Yes, sir. And we out. Appreciate you. Yes, now. Yeah, and I don't like the stunt. I just do it because I can now. I just hit your town and now I run it. Yeah. If you say I ain't.